Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at what I think may be the perfect bug out bag, at least in my opinion. It's the best one I've found so far and I'm currently loading it up as just that, a bug out bag. So let's take a look at it. It's the Tactics Half Day Pack by First Tactical. Coming up next on Living Survival. Now I've reviewed a lot of great packs on the channel over the years and I use those packs for all different purposes whether it be just a day pack, hiking packs, backpacking packs, packs I take when I'm traveling or camping, packs I take for video equipment and then I have my packs that are pretty much always loaded. One being my get home bag. This is the Maxpedition Typhoon. This rides in the car. You can see it's a small pack. It's fully packed with gear that I often need, whether it be tools, whether it be a knife, a flashlight, you know, some sort of tarp, tie outs, anything. It's in here, including uh, food bars that would get me 24 to 48 hours. The purpose of this bag being to get home. So if I have a car that's broken down, I need to walk for some reason or uh, maybe you know a highway shuts down due to an accident for a long time. I need to you know uh, draw on supplies that are in here. This is the pack that's gonna get that done. As far as what I use for my bug out bag, I've changed it a bunch of times. I've minimized it a lot. It seems to me when you have a larger bag, just like anything else, you wanna fill it up with more stuff. So the smaller I go in the bag, the more practical the bag turns out to be for me and my skill set. The bug out bag is a fully loaded kit that you're gonna leave at home and you would take with you in the event that you had to quickly leave home. Now, in most cases, I'm gonna bug in. All my supplies are there, security is there of my home. So in nine out of 10 times, I'm gonna bug in. But let's say I did have to bug out. I had to leave because of a natural disaster. Maybe there's a disease that's spreading through the area. Maybe there is a, you know martial law or some sort of rioting where I had to leave. Most of the time I'm headed right to my vehicle so that I not only have my vehicle but I also have the supplies that I keep in my vehicle as well. This would be a great redundancy to take as well but maybe I can't get to the vehicle, maybe the vehicle's damaged or maybe I have people coming to pick me up. That's where I'm grabbing and taking this bag. Now we're not going to go over the contents of what I have in here. I've started to load it up as my bug out bag. Once I finish it or get close, I'll do another update video and show you the contents. But we're going to take a look at why I think it's such a great bag, a great multi-purpose bag that can be certainly used for anything, whether it be, you know, a day pack, whether it be a bug out bag, a get home bag, a hiking pack, a pack that you take camping, maybe a range pack. You know, this pack can be used for all different types of things because of all the modular options that it has. In a previous video, we looked at another one of First Tactical's great packs, their three-day packs, this being their half-day pack. Perfect size for a bug out bag or a kit bag, especially in the summertime. I would generally maybe switch to a larger pack in the winter where I'm carrying maybe additional clothing and uh, additional things that the winter months require. But this pack is working out great. And as I said, I've started to load it out as my bug out bag. So let's go around the pack and let me show you why I think it's such a great pack. Not only is it very high quality, it uses 500 and 1000D uh, nylon. It's got Duraflex buckles, YKK zips. So all the good stuff there as far as the, uh, the uh, hardware goes. And then there's so many different pockets in here, but they're really well planned out pockets. So what's good about that is that each item can have its own place. You'll know right where it is. You get used to where it is as I do in my uh, get home bag. The compression straps on the side are also really cool because they uh, are quick release here. You can release this and you can actually locate that uh, anywhere down on this sort of laser cut uh, model your pal system so you can relocate those side straps wherever you want not only on the front side but you can also do the same on the back side you can put the uh, strap anywhere you want so I have a knife here you know where it's at right now makes makes a good additional security strap for my knife but let's say you wanted something a little bit lower down you needed something to strap that in again you can move that up and down so I find that that's super cool and of course Duraflex hardware you really can't go 
wrong with that. So let's start off with the front of the pack here. As I said, there's so many different, uh, so many different compartments, but they're really well thought out compartments. Starting here on the front, again, you've got some hook and loop here that uh, is on the front of the uh, laser cut Molly or Pal system here. It doesn't scream tactical. I like the, the look of that uh, for sure in the new packs. So you have two two uh, pockets here, one here and one here. The zips come down about maybe three quarters of the way down the side and then you have a uh, long pocket that goes down this entire uh, uh, spot here and then you have an additional pocket on the inside here a little flap that comes down about halfway so that'd be good for keeping little batteries in maybe a longer flashlight you could even store like a knife in there I have a magazine in there at the moment you could pile up maybe uh, at least two if not three magazines in each one of these compartments so if you're gonna carry a rifle with you for example you could certainly load this up with ammo that is uh, fairly quick to uh, be able to grab there then right behind those two pockets you have sort of the admin again these zips come down about three quarters of the way uh, of the pocket here you don't have any organization on the front which is no big deal with me you do have a nice keeper that comes with it detachable high quality hardware so you could keep keys or other items that you maybe want to quick uh, disconnect from the pack there then you have sort of your typical uh, admin sleeves here I could maybe you know take or leave those it really doesn't matter but you could put you know pens or something pad of paper down in there you have all sorts of little different pockets and then you do have an additional zippered pocket that goes uh, almost all the way down it seems like it goes down about maybe three quarters of the way there so a nice pocket there for maybe keeping uh, keys it looks like there is a keeper in here as well I'm telling you they just have so much stuff on this pack you really you know could use it for just about anything so again another uh, nice little admin pocket there on the front then right behind that is sort of a concealed carry pocket which I really like that's a cool feature on this pack uh, you don't have to access it from the sides it's right up there right up top I'll probably put maybe a different color uh, pull on here uh, it's another good thing you can do to help organize your stuff maybe you have your uh, you know your medical supplies in a certain uh, you know a certain pocket you could put maybe an orange one on that maybe you have uh, you know <clears throat> different medications or something you could put a blue one on that you have your fire kit you could put a red one on that uh, so on and so forth so I really like this uh, pocket that's right here in the middle of the pack it goes all the way down to the bottom here and then it's got a hook and loop field in there as well so you could put a hook and loop holster in there and it just it's super nice and easy to be able to grab your handgun or keep your handgun it's gonna not it's gonna keep it in the pack enough to where it's not gonna print so again I really like that pocket definitely a cool idea there and then up top here you just have a uh, additional pocket to sort of fill the fill the uh, fill the void up top here I don't have anything in it at the moment but this again would be quick quick grab items maybe you keep you know a few uh, you know energy bars in there or something like that maybe a headlamp uh, flashlight anything that you wanted to quick grab you could keep it in that top pocket so again a lot of organization just in this front of this pack you've got the hook and loop here you've got little toggles on the side that you could clip little beaners to and stuff like that so tons of options here when it comes to how you load this thing out before we get into the main pocket, let's look at the sides here. Again, you have that same Molly Pals platform all the way down. I've got a BK7 mounted on here. Again, you have that compression strap that is adjustable up and down to wherever you want to have it. One great feature about this pack is that on both sides there's handles. So you can pick the pack up like this. Again, just subtle details that make it perfect in my opinion for a bug out bag. You want to grab this thing really quickly. It doesn't matter if it's on its side. It doesn't matter if it's up top. You've got high quality grab handles on the sides and on the top as well on the bottom of the pack there is drainage holes on either side so that's great there's also some nylon loops that you could rig something up to carry an additional uh, maybe bedroll or something like that on the bottom an additional blanket and then it does have another compartment down in the bottom here so maybe you wanted to keep a trash bag or something like that something that you could cover the pack with other than that I'm not really sure what this bottom uh, zip is for but it's there they've taken advantage of the space so I think that that's really cool as well then the last thing on the outside of the pack is of course the most important thing of any pack the support system so you have these really nice 
uh, shoulder straps. It's really comfortable. They have the quick disconnects. And you'll notice that on these buckles and also on the side compression straps, you have a little uh, elastic that goes over it. That keeps the buckles quiet. So that's really nice. And of course you have the, uh, the uh, molded back support here. Again, very, very comfortable on the body you do have a slit here that you could run a hip belt through although i don't run a hip belt and then this pack is also compatible with their rifle uh, case so you can actually slip their rifle case right down this pocket goes all the way down so you can actually slip their rifle case right in here so again if you were going to use it as sort of a bug out bag and you're taking you know a weapon with you you could throw your rifle on the back throw some ammo in the front and it would work great for that there's also a little velcro cover in here that you can pull out the the uh, frame in the back there's a, uh, a rigid frame sheet in here with aluminum that's going to contour to your body so really nice system there and then on these shoulder straps it has the nice uh, sternum stretchy here and uh, the uh, sternum strap is movable along this channel here so you can very quickly and easily adjust it on both sides to wherever you want it that's very cool you've got elastic here that you can do all sorts of different things with you've got some more of that hook and loop uh, the uh, laser cut hook and loop there and then another thing that's really unique to this bag is that the uh, handle actually can be adjusted so that you can actually bring these in closer or stretch these out further so again it just gives you a little bit more option there to how it's going to fit on your body i find that super cool when it shipped of course everything was you know tightened all up i had to loosen it a little bit but uh definitely another thing that contributes to the comfort of this pack one last thing here before we dig into the main pocket there is also a padded sunglass uh, pouch up top here it's got sort of that fleece on the inside so that you can throw your sunglasses or other valuables in there so that's cool so let's dig into this main pocket here the zips on both sides allow this to totally briefcase out and that's very cool because of what they've done on the inside i'm actually going to bring you in a little bit closer again because of how cool this pack is so it briefcases all the way out so you have tons of access to the gear you have inside again i've just started to sort of load this up as a bug out bag on the back here there is this fleece line section here so that you could uh, put hook and loop on there and uh, further add modular uh, systems to this pack on the sides here there's two flaps you could uh, slide something down in there that you didn't want maybe uh, flying all over on the inside of the pack again I just have a tarp there and then on this front panel they've also made the organization really really cool up top here you have these two velcro pouches that just pull off they just rip off so that's really cool so i have batteries and a headlamp and my electronics are going to go in here and then this one i have rigged up as a full uh, medical kit so again quick easy access items that i could just reach down to the bag rip this out and so that is very cool in my opinion and then down below that you have two zippered pouches that uh, go over the half of the pack here i just have some cordage in one so Again, very cool organization, very unique organization. Haven't really seen this on uh, any other packs. And I like that the uh, the tearaways are up top here. A lot of times your pack will, you know, things will settle down and you really don't have anything that's up in this upper portion of the pack. That takes care of that so that I can load this pack up. And then when I zip it up, it makes so that all my items fit in there really, really well. So love it, love the organization, love the overall detail that they've put into this bag. And so I'm sure you can see why I think this is gonna be the perfect bug out bag for me again i'll probably do a future video once i get it completed but overall quality is there the hardware is there the look and feel of the pack is there the comfort is there the support is there even when carrying heavier items in it there's really not anything i don't like about the pack it seems to uh, wick away the heat and the moisture really well it's a very hot and muggy day today i had to walk uh, a little bit in to film this video so you know no heat problems on the back of the pack even like i said with heavier loads in it i love the fact that you can adjust the side compression system to your liking i like the fact that it has a lot of organization but it's very well thought out organization so even you know with those two front pockets that are very usable the admin i could give or take that as i do on most packs i really don't use that a whole lot the top pocket of course has to be there but then on the inside where it folds out you've got those two rip away pouches those two zippered pouches so again very very nicely organized especially 
for a kit bag, whether it's a range bag, whether it's a bug out bag, a get home bag, a camping, a hiking, you can do it with this pack and it's gonna be very comfortable and last quite a while. One thing that I did forget to mention is that I did slip my 15 inch MacBook down in there and it fits, no problem. So it could also be used just as a day pack, maybe a commute style pack. So again, lots of options, lots of uses for this pack. I'm gonna put a link below to First Tactical's website where you can check out this pack. This is the half day pack. They also have a one day pack, a three day pack, and several other packs as well as rifle cases and all sorts of different pouches and things to take a look at. So if you're interested in that or you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, please follow that link, check out their website. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me that comment below. Please share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on your social media. And as always, click that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.